Hey guys, um, I'm going to show you guys how I do my floor transfers today. Um, I'm going to show you two ways that I do it. Um, the first way I'm going to show you is using the function that I have in my legs. And then I will show you the second way that I do it. And that is when my legs refuse to work and I have bad days, my legs just won't do anything, I'll show you how I do that. And that would be like moving my legs with my hands. Okay, here we go. First is getting down, which is not that hard. So I'm down on the floor and uh, depending on where I'm at, Depending on whether I'm transferring on to say plush carpet, like I have pretty plush carpet in my house So I don't really worry about um, Sitting on the floor for too long because I will get down and I, I have a three-year-old son So I'll get down on the floor and I'll play with him um, But if I'm at my Say if I'm at someone else's house with him I'll put a pillow down on the floor and I'll sit on that so that I don't have to worry about, um, you know, being uncomfortable. My butt is pretty bony. I have a lot of muscle atrophy, so. Okay, and I will show you the first way that I do it now, how to get back up in the chair. Easy as pie. Okay, now the second way, um, I'll show you how I do it without using my legs. This is a little harder. First, you get your legs up under you, tuck them up, make sure your feet are set flat on the ground so that when you get up on them, you're not going to roll your ankle and potentially, you know, tear a ligament or break your freaking ankle. Wouldn't be good. Okay. And I always come from the side. If you realize I come from the side. A little bit. I don't try to get straight up in my chair. Alright, there you go.